channel friends welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Jillian and I run my own small crochet business so in today's video we are going to basically go over everything I have market prepped for my upcoming spring market which is on April 13th so not this weekend but next weekend I am super excited about it so also make sure you guys are subscribed so you can catch the market vlog it's gonna be super fun and yeah let's just get into the video and go over all of the items also a bit of a disclaimer i am going to be going over my pricing for my items and my pricing is thought out and what i feel is right and i will not be accepting opinions or thoughts on that it's what works for me and where i live so you guys can determine your own prices and i will do the same so also I do work a full-time job so I am a little bit limited with time and how much I can you know get produced and stuff so it's not anything crazy like 150 items or anything but it's the best I can do and I'm all for that pretty much just do what you can and show up with what you have I am like all about that and I think you can turn it into something even a little bit, you can turn it into a good experience at a market. So that's what we're doing today and going over. So I believe this is going to be the most amount of plushies I'm bringing with me to a market. So I am happy about that. And I'm just excited for another market slash the first market of the year. So I believe we have around 50 items so far and I do have another week until the market so I probably will market prep like a couple of items here or there next week but that will be gone over in the vlog I will post next Friday or two Fridays from now I believe after the market so enough of that we're going to get into all of the items that I've crocheted so far all right so the first item that we have and i think i've had this item since my first market but i think it's cute is this lavender and cream jumbo b this was back when i sort of i don't know first couple of months of me learning how to crochet so it definitely could use a bit more fluff but i think it's still pretty good i did knock down the price I think last market so I'm selling this one for $40 and then next this is technically like a fall item but I'm gonna put it out anyways because you can like this color year-round but it is this mom stichetti cow I love this I priced this at $40 as well next up is one of my more recent makes and that is the super cute Fiona flower perfect for spring I love the pastel colors as well and we are pricing her for $40 next up this guy seriously one of my most favorite makes I've ever made this is the crochet grove giraffe it took me a while so I did price this one at 42 but it is so stinking cute I love it so much then next we have Finley Oop. Finley the frog so adorable I'm pricing this one for 30 it did take me quite a bit of time and next up we're gonna go through my leggy frogs we have three overall I brought three leggy frogs to my last market and only one of them sold so I don't really know if leggy froggies are popular anymore in my area so I try to keep it limited but different colors so for small leggy frogs we have this Bernat blanket frosting one and I priced these ones for $14 so there's that one and this really cute tie-dye green one 14 as well and then I also have a jumbo 
leggy frog. Love this. It's so soft. And I priced this one for $20. Next up, this one has been around with me for sure since my first market. And this is this blue Bernat blanket octo with the tentacles. I don't usually make these anymore. And this is priced at $14. I still think it's cute. Next, we have, I finished this one today. We have super cute little squid. I love this pattern so much. And also these patterns will be in the description down below with the links and everything. So you guys can know what the patterns are. But super cute, it's like this coral color and I'm charging 15 for this because the tentacles take a while. Next, I guess I only got around to two of these, but ideally I would like to get a couple more colors, but we have two of these purple octos. I love these, I think they're cute, and I charge $10 each for these. Next up, this is also perfect for spring, is my pink on pink floral turtle. Love this one, and I'm charging $28 for that one. Next up, this one I made today. The super cute pastel pink and green tofu turtle. Love this pattern, and it turns out such a good size in the Sweet Snuggles light. Love it. I'm going to charge $16 for this, and I'm in the middle of working on another one currently, so I'll have two of these, and I'm counting that right now as a part of this. And then these are one of my favorite makes to make, <laughs> and that is my Mallard Ducks, <laughs> and I price these at $14. Up next, we have one of my best sellers, if not my best seller, which are my Mabel chickens. Specifically in this orange and brown tweed color. People love them and I think they're super cute. So I do these for $15 each. Otherwise I do two for $25 and people honestly love to do that. So I have 10 of these ones right now and I know I also have five chicken bodies just stored away ready to be prepped and finished. So hopefully those will be a part of the market as well in a couple of different colors. And then the last two smaller items that I offer, I kind of just shoved them together in here, but we have my colorful little Octos. I do these for $5 each. And then a new make that I'm bringing to markets are these little bobble bees. I love them so much. I'm obsessed with these. So these are also going to be $5. And I don't know. I hope they do well. They are super quick and easy to make. Definitely one of my favorite patterns currently. And yeah, I believe that is all of the items for my market. So all in all, the total amount of plushies I crocheted was 49 and those are worth $748. So personally, I am super satisfied with that. And even if I didn't make anything next week, I would be happy with the amount of plushies I have. So I really think that's all that should matter. And I know I can make a display with two tables work with this amount of plushies. So we're all covered there. And... Now we are going to get into some of my market tips. Okay, so let's go over my top five market tips that I have for you. So number one is to do your research and just kind of be aware. So for doing your research, I think if you can, if possible, if you're looking into a market way ahead of time and you're able to go to the market as a customer and just kind of see you know, the flow of traffic, how many people are there, the demographic, all of that sort of thing. That is a super huge bonus and just more understanding into the market to see if you even want to be a vendor there. And I think that would be super beneficial if you're able to. I know I'm personally trying to look more into doing that sort of thing, just to trial these different 
um, markets and events out to see if they're like my best fit, you know? And that I'm also grouping with being aware. So most of my events personally I find on Facebook and I'm a part of a couple of Facebook groups in my area. So that's also a tip if you don't know where to look for markets. Facebook is my number one tip for that. But anyways, if you're part of these groups, just be aware that there are scammers that are going to comment under posts even in the group that the organizer might not either, you know, delete or deal with or any of that. And they might say, oh, we have space available and they might not and they're not even a part of the actual event. They're just, you know, pretending they are. So definitely do some digging into events and who exactly the organizers are so you don't run the risk of giving anybody your vendor fee without them actually being a part of the event. So just to kind of cover your bases there. And the next tip is what I've been looking at here or there through the items was my inventory tracker. So this has been a big help recently. I kind of figured out how to work Google Sheets because I did not, but now I am using it as my inventory tracker to track all of the plushies I made for the market specifically and how many, what the price I'm selling them for, and that's how I easily added up how many items I have and how much they were worth. So this way of organizing my items I think will work for me so I'm just happy about it and I also included like a little checkbox for if they sell or not so I can go back in and see that information. Alright so that kind of ties into the third tip which is you need to be accepting some form of card. You need some sort of card reader. I highly recommend Square because it is free to sign up and you get a free little device that plugs into your charging port of your phone, which I think is just great. It's awesome and super quick and convenient to use and perfect if you're a beginner and you might not even know if you like markets, so it's not a huge investment. So I would definitely look into that if you haven't already. And I do use Square as well, which also kind of keeps track of your inventory, but I do also use my Google Sheets um, inventory tracker. So the last two tips kind of, they're the same but not. So they're both related to items to sell at your market. So I highly, highly recommend small items, unless you're specifically like a person that sells like, you know, huge, unique, crochet items. That's cool too. But personally for amigurumi and plushies and stuff, smaller items go the quick quickest and are, you know, people go towards the lower priced smaller items first. And then the other tip I have related to that is bringing a couple of unique items. So ones of things or twos of things. That way people feel, you know, a little special, like it was the only thing on your table and they might have thought it was super cool and unique. But I love just having the options and variety for people overall, just in case they want like some one-off item that you happen to crochet and you thought you would never sell. So who knows? You never know. But yeah, those are a couple of my market tips and I hope I was able to help someone out there. And if you have any questions about markets or anything related, you can leave comments down in the comment section. And if there's a lot, I will maybe make a separate video about, you know, all of my market tips and everything related to markets. So let me know. That is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the items I'm going to be bringing for my spring market, as well as a couple of my market tips. If you guys have any more questions on markets or anything related to that, you can drop them down in the comments and I'll either answer them or if I get a bunch of questions related to markets, I will just end up doing like a separate video for you guys or if you just want like a whole market tip video just also let me know down below and I would love to do that for you guys and help you out. But yeah, 
other than that, I will see you guys in the next video, which should be a long vlog because I'm mixing this week and next week, which is the week of my market, together. So you'll get a separate vlog on Friday, and then the Friday after that will be the market day vlog. So make sure if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, it really helps the channel out. And I appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I truly, truly do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank you.